okay. If you haven't enrolled in the money management course, do so today. The link is below. Let me go ahead and tell you guys a story. I was at my desk and I was just kind of looking over some of my corporate paperwork. And I went and I pulled up a folder and I was like, oh, this corporation is such and such age. So I go ahead and I go to the bank and an hour later, I come out with $75,000 in business credit. And this is one of the things that kills so many people. They do not have their paperwork. They don't have pay stubs. They don't have tax returns. They don't have the proper corporate documents. And this is one of the things that literally kills people who are trying to start a business, who are trying to put certain things together, who are trying to build and create and have things that are going to be very different in terms of the future. Once again, we live in the United States of America, which is a corporation. And to, to do work in the corporation, you need to have your own corporate stance. And let me go ahead and break this down. You need to have a holding company. You need to have an LLC. You need to have your EINs. You need to have your business checking. Now, that's just the beginning of the process. That's just the beginning of the process. By having a holding company, having operating companies, having your EINs, having your business checking, you could virtually, if you know what to do, set yourself up to get half a million dollars in business credit within one year. This is something that I'm doing in the Corporate Citizen Playbook. There is a strategy, a technique, where you can go ahead and get half a million dollars worth of business credit right now without deleting inquiries, without lying, without setting yourself up for charges. Once again, this is just the beginning stuff that you have because once you become corporate and once you go ahead and get your paperwork and once you go ahead and have your stuff, like, let me give you an example. And this is just, basic line. This is a very basic, basic thing. You go ahead, you set up your holding company, get your EIN, your business checking. Then you set up an operating company, get your EIN, get your business checking. And let's say you set up a YouTube channel, just a YouTube channel. And if you know what to do, you can turn this YouTube channel into 10, 15, 20, 30, 40, $50,000 in tax deductions. Once again, the tax deductions depend on how much money you make. If you're a regular person making 35,000, clearly you're not going to get that many tax deductions because you're not paying that much in taxes. But let's say you found me, let's, let's fast forward four years in the future and someone comes in, signs up for the corporate citizen playbook. This person has a household income of $150,000. They follow my advice in the course, right? They go ahead, get the holding company, get the operating company, get the business credit, set up a YouTube channel, and following the provisions that are in the Corporate Citizen Playbook, they go ahead and create $50,000 in tax deductions, which is going to reduce their tax load by 50,000 and probably put an extra $30,000 in their pocket. I want you to think about that. An extra $30,000 in their pocket. They're gonna save $30,000. And it's all about having your paperwork. This is one of the reasons next week, starting Sunday, I am doing a corporate sprint. And the corporate sprint is about verifying and making sure that everyone in my system has their paperwork together. Because I want you to think, we live in the corporation of America, right? If you know how to play the game in the corporation of America, if you know the things to do, you know the things to set up, you can have a regular job, then go ahead and get your paperwork together, right? Get your paperwork together. And then you can go out and get $200,000. Once again, depending upon your credit profile, depending on some things, but let's just go ahead and say you're in a really good, remarkable position for in terms of credit. You have a really good credit score. You could get yourself 
$200,000 worth of business credit within 30 days, 30 days. And this opens up the doors for you to do things and for you to build things because I'm going to teach you for everyone that signs up for the corporate citizen playbook. There's a hack. I call it the American express hack. I'm going to put some more training in there on it, but as a business owner, one of the things that I know that when I go to the bank, once you get to a certain credit limit, they're going to ask for documentation. They're going to ask for tax returns. There are sometimes they're going to ask for bank statements. Sometimes they're going to ask for tax returns, bank statements, order a, a, a financial summary. And sometimes they'll even ask for your order of operations. Now, this is the hack that I am teaching. You're a regular person with a normal job and I can teach you to get higher lines of business credit using the things that you have for use disposable. This is really, really powerful because there's a hack. Cause one of the things that I know from going to banks and getting business lines of credit and doing certain things is I know what they ask for. And also in the corporate citizen playbook, I have dealt with Truist, PNC, and there's some more banks I'm gonna deal with. I'm waiting for some things to, for some inquiries on my credit report to get older before I apply for anything else. There's another bank that I'm going for, but essentially with Wells Fargo, Truist, PNC, and this additional bank. And once again, I'm gonna tell you exactly what you need to do and exactly what you need to say to go ahead and get these very large lines of credit without having a business that's activated that's based upon paperwork. That's how I got $75,000 based upon paperwork. Your paperwork, having the right paperwork, having the right language. And also I'll share something else with you. And this is going to be really, 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 really good. In 2024, my goal is to add 1.2 million dollars in pure business credit to my holding company situation. Now, currently I have $800,000 worth of business credit and I was able to do that. My year of starting on that process will start in October, starts October. So October, November, December, January, February. So eight months, I've built $800,000 in business credit in eight months. So I'm quite sure that I can do another additional 1.25 million over the course of 2024. And I'm gonna start this process the summer of 2024 because it's about having my right paperwork, having the EINs and having the proper credit Profile. Credit profile is a big, big part of this. One of the things that you have to do is prep your credit profile to get these larger lines of credit. If you're a regular person with regular credit, regular credit, a $5,000 limit, maybe a $10,000 limit, I can tell you from a point of intimate knowledge that you are not going to get robust, vigorous, credit trade lines. It's just simply not going to happen because your credit report, and this is part of paperwork, having an LLC, having EINs, having corporate banking, having corporate tax returns. That's part of the things that you need to pull large lines of business credit, large lines of and also, let me just go ahead and tell you, because uh, I, held, I held a webinar the other day and I got this question and everyone, like if you're a regular person with regular credit limits, I don't care what these uh, YouTube commercials say that you can go into the bank and you can go ahead and get these large credit limits on your business credit cards and these large lines of credit. First of all, a bank, even when you have all of the proper paperwork, it's only going to give you 10% of your estimated annual income. Let me go ahead and let me, let me go ahead and say that. they're only going to give you 10%. You go in as a regular person 
without a business, guess what you're gonna get? You're gonna get these low limit credit cards. You're gonna get these $10,000 business credit cards. You're gonna get these extremely low credit lines of credit because you do not know what to say, how to organize yourself, how to prep, how the things that you need to do to go ahead and position yourself to get it because this this is one of the things that was asked about the credit because if you're, you're just a regular person with a regular credit profile okay there's nothing in that credit profile to tell the banks to give you a high credit card limit there is nothing right now i have one two three i have five credit cards on my personal credit report with thirty thousand dollar lines of credit or higher thirty thousand dollar limits or higher that I have used and paid off. And this, my credit report reflects that. So one of the things that you have to understand, and this is one of the things that we're gonna get into with the Corporate Citizen Playbook and playing these games, and it is a game. Once you understand it is a game, once you understand how to play, once you understand how to have your paperwork lined up, once you understand that, because essentially, just to cut through the noise, if you go ahead and enroll in the Corporate Citizen Playbook, I will teach you how to get $500,000 in business lines of credit. This will be between credit cards and lines of credit without having an active business. All be based on you having the proper paperwork. Once again, this, this is really, because I'll, I'll share something with you. Because I'm gonna have the proper paperwork, this is going to enable me to get a six-figure American Express. And uh, I, once again, it's about the paperwork. It's about having the proper corporate seasoning. And I've got last month, I'll have this month, and then I'll have next month for that product. So I will be able to go out and get my American Express credit card in August. And that's going to be my first six figure credit card. That's going to be my first six figure credit card limit in life. All because I know how the system works. And more importantly, I know how to work the system. Number one, paperwork. Number two, EINs. Number three, business checking account. Number four, if you have good credit, once again, a business credit card, if your credit report is properly seasoned. It's all about having the proper paperwork, being positioned and setting yourself up. All right, so this is something else that I need to discuss. I have a lot of people who wanna get on the phone and chat with me, and I'm extremely expensive to talk to. So I have a new product and I eat fire called the corporate advisor. What happens in the corporate advisor right now? We're running a special and a discount because I'm still building out the corporate citizen playbook. I'm still building out the YouTube course and I will be offering this corporate citizen advisor discount where you get to sign up into it and you get everything. You get the corporate citizen playbook, you get the YouTube course, you get the productivity course, You'll get everything else that I'm going to do this year. Plus, we get to sit down and have an hour long conversation about your business. This is a current special. You can find it in the description level below. And I may, this video is going to come out while I am napping, while I am asleep. So later on, it will definitely be in the description box where you can access this information. My name is Glendon Cameron, and I will see you guys in the next video.